Hey Pisces, this is for Sun and Rising Venus. We are going to pull some of my Oracle decks and we're going to clarify it with the tarot. You have round and round and then you have no place like home. Some of you guys have been spending a lot of time at home lately, okay? I feel like you guys have been um, doing like, I feel like it's like a repeated thing here with the round and round here. Maybe you guys are going through some type of cycles with other people. Maybe there's something in your life that keeps on continuing. Okay, you got marriage. This could be involving, you know, marriage and living room. So there could be some sad news involving your marriage or involving your living space here. Something that keeps on happening. You have no place like home and living space too. So this is home issues, okay, relationship issues. Something that keeps on going on over and over and over again. We're going to clarify that, but I'm just going to pull some more of this. You have get back to the basics. And then you have ring. A marriage will take place either romantic or business. So definitely um, grow in something here. And you have egg success assured with good uh, good plans and hard work. So I feel like maybe there's a cycle here that's been happening over and over. But as long as you guys are communicating with each other and working together as a team and trying to fix this or not, you know, and not beat each other up about whatever this is that keeps on happening over and over. Let's say if somebody has a drinking issue or something like this or an emotional problem or jealousy issues definitely needing to work on like whatever the case maybe it could be anything it could be too much having their family in in the business too much whatever this is right um taking care of other people outside of your relationship or bringing people in the family like whatever this is okay it's like you might have some other people that are living with you that you guys invited to your house that may cause problems for the marriage take it how it resonates for you guys but i do feel like you guys will be able to overcome this okay forgot my cards okay so Let's see what this round and round thing is. The Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. This has been something that's happening. This has been going on for a long time, okay? And with the Five of Cups, the reason why is because somebody keeps on focusing on all the negatives and they're not focusing on all the positives. So there could be a lot of, um, like, fights or arguments about, like, all the things that are going on that are just not good. All the things that are not, you know, the way you guys want it to be or the way they want it to be. Okay, there could be a lot of, I'm hearing family drama, so there could be family drama. Three of Cups, okay, there, there definitely could be a third party here that's kind of like uh, round and round, it's a, a pattern, okay, over and over and over. It could be a drinking problem, Five of Cups, Three of Cups. This person, maybe, if this person does have a drinking problem, an addiction problem, or something like that with the Wheel of Fortune unpredictability, this person is trying to block out their pain. Okay, they're trying to ignore their problems. They're trying to push aside their problems so this way they don't have to face it. But if they don't ever face it, they're going to continue to keep on going down this road. Okay, with the um, Knight of Pentacles, this is about being very meticulous. This is about laying down the law and not letting people um, cross that law. Okay, so if there's something that you want done, be like, okay, well, this needs to be done. And if this doesn't get done, then there needs to be consequences for this. You can't keep on allowing it to keep on happening over and over and over again while nothing ever gets fixed. You have the Page of Pentacles. It's about learning how to do things differently to get different results. And I feel like standing your ground more, okay? Spirit does want you to stand your ground more so this way you can make this work, okay? Especially if this is something that you want to keep, you want to invest in. This is something that you see, you know, you see a future with this person. You definitely have to put your foot down, okay? Now, if there is a third party here, there could be a marriage here that is blocking the connection between the both of you. And they're just so focused on the sad things that they're not in a vibration to where they're very positive. So all they're doing and it's attracting more negative. This person needs to focus on the positives and stop trying to block out or master pain. The Ace of Pentacles. You got Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and then you got Two Cups. So maybe you guys are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. does not have to be, but with the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, this is taking an idea and turning it to reality. This is possible, okay? The fixing of this marriage is possible, or the fixing of this relationship is possible, especially if the third party, drinking, people, family, people, places, and things, whatever this is, this needs to be removed out of the way first, okay? Because that's definitely a problem. 
This says get back to the basics. Some people might be focused on all little things, turning little things into big things, okay? Might be focused on all the wrong things here. I feel like Spirit is saying get back to basics. Start spending more time with each other. Start doing more things that are protective for the relationship. Don't be each other's worst enemies. Work at, work together as a team, okay? With the ring, a marriage will take place, a romantic or business. So if you guys also, with the Page of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles, maybe some of you guys are going back to school. Okay, and if you guys are trying to start your own business, or you guys might be learning something new, and you're being very meticulous about this, okay? I do feel like Spirit is saying, keep on pushing forward. This may be a long time coming. You may be getting, you, this is a lot of success, by the way. It's very, it's like long-term stability. Also, the Ace of Pentacles is a gift from the universe, okay? Um, in the form of material things, stability, money, um, a new car, a new home, whatever this is, a, a new business, I feel like some of you guys are um, really focused on your career. You guys will do everything or, or you guys are doing everything to get yourselves to where you need to be. So let's get some advice for the marriage. This round and round. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, Ten of Swords in reverse. Anything that's happened in the past, if there's any type of betrayal, any type of like hurt or pain or mean words said to each other, that needs to be left in the past, okay? So this way you guys can move on from this and start fresh, okay? Start fresh and start stable. Brand new energies, page and ace. They're brand new energies. Spirit saying start brand new, okay? But the Ten of Swords needs to be let go. This needs to be let go. Also negative thinking about your person ever being able to change. You have to think positive for them, Okay? Especially if they're not thinking positive. You have to be the one, you know, help them with that. The Seven of Wands, you guys have to let go of the past. Seven of Wands is like having to feel like you have to defend yourself all the time, okay? So this is like letting the guards down, okay? You may feel like you've kept yourself in a bubble around this person because maybe you're so used to these patterns always hurting you. I feel like the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Swords in reverse is saying you have to let go of the past if you want to start something brand new. Okay, that has to be let go. Okay, maybe you guys need to talk about it so this way you guys can get the answers that you need to get. But then you need to move on from it and heal from it and grow, you know, move on from it. So this way it's not anything that continues to hinder the relationship or the marriage any further. So what's the blockage? The Six of Swords. Moving from rocky waters to go to calmer shores, okay? And then the Nine of Cups. So the Nine of Cups can be alcohol, it can be... Um, <clears throat> greed, okay, with the Six of Swords and the Nine of Cups, somebody may always try to get whatever it is that they wish for, okay, maybe somebody's, um, it's all about them, okay, you know, I feel like they may use a lot of excuses as to why they do the things that they do, but I do feel like Spirit is saying for you guys to move forward, okay, help this person, and if you feel like you need to move away from this person, then that's what you got to do, now, if this isn't you and this is your person, your person's dealing with a very hard third party that either has a drinking problem or some type of drama, okay, drama. I'm trying to see what else I was going to pull on. I'm going to clarify the sad news. I'm going to put all these back. Clarify the sad news and then... I want to see what else is coming in for you with this success cards. Queen of Cups. Could be coming from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Page of Cups. Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, <laughs> strong water here, first of all. And this person has a pattern. The world and the Nine of Wands. This news, I feel like this person has a really hard time giving up whatever it is that they are doing, okay? With the sad news, I feel like maybe you've heard, like, let's say if this person's, like, doing better with not drinking, and then you hear that they go ahead and they went out drinking, it's something like that, okay? I feel like it's a big disappointment here, okay? For some of you guys, um, with the sad news with the Three of Cups in reverse, there could be something that comes up that you guys are not going to be happy about. Could be a secret, and this could be something that kind of comes in and kind of crashes everything down. Let's see what this is about. The Sun. Could be about a Leo. And the Seven of Cups. Okay, be you guys have to really use your discernment when this comes through, okay? 
with the seven of cups i feel like you guys might be a little bit confused don't jump to assumptions here i don't know what type of news this could be different for all of you guys don't jump to conclusions okay take your time with this actions regarding this the eight of wands move forward try not to the eight of pentacles you can work through this okay the nine of swords don't stress yourself out i don't feel like whatever this news is i don't i don't think it's going to be so bad to where you can't get over it i feel like this can be fixed okay look king of pentacles this can be fixed this is going to be fine okay so let's see what the success card is with good plans and hard work. I kind of feel like this is for your marriage, but I want to see if there's anything else that's coming in for you guys as well. The Knight of Cups. Yes. Spirit. And then the King of Pentacles too as well. Spirit. It's like you guys are growing something in this egg. You guys are planting something. Remember I was saying the Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles? You guys are planting your seeds and they're starting to sprout. And with the King of Pentacles is you being on top of your shit, okay? You're trying to open up a business. You're going to be the boss. You're going to be able to make your own hours. You can take the time off whenever you need it. With the Temperance card, you're asking, Spirit's asking you for a little bit of patience with this and moderation, okay? This is also about kind of like finding the balance and trying to mix match. Um, it's about alchemy okay trying to figure out what works for you because what works for you or other people doesn't necessarily work for everybody else so you got to find your own way right so take your time with this and the page of pentacles again okay so it's like there's a gift coming in from spirit and this might be in the form of like a new home a new business whatever this is like look how much shit how much growth he has all around him all these plants all this money all this gold it's black and white but it's like all yellow it's like i feel like you guys are going to be shining and you have the magician too as well you guys are manifesting this the universe is bringing this to you guys do not doubt this okay with the moon do not fear this if you guys are feeling called to put yourselves out there to start something new go ahead and do it because i feel like that will lead you guys to a very very surprising future Okay, the Hermit, I feel like you guys have been thinking about this. For some of you guys that haven't started this already, I would, okay? You have the Devil. This could be an obsessive thought in your mind here, okay? You can also be dealing with toxic people, places, and things, all right? Don't give any energy to things that don't serve you, okay? That way they have no power over you. And whatever you're feeling blockchained and controlled by or stuck to, let that go. This could be negative thinking. This can also mean that there's... Uh, you know, with the devil card, it's Capricorn energy. Like, anything that you guys want, as long as you're putting the work in, as long as you guys are following the rules and doing things the right way, you guys will get yourself to where you guys need to be, okay? Um, you have the three of cups in reverse. But you have to have more gratitude. Don't play the victim. Don't feel like everything doesn't work out for me, okay? You have to be like, okay, well, you know what? If this doesn't work out for me, then I know something else is coming. Thank you, universe, for not, you know, giving that to me. Obviously, there's something in here that I'm going to have to learn, okay, through this process or something, okay? Try to keep your emotions balanced here as well. Look, as I say that, you got the gratitude card. It says, gratitude opens the door to all the good life has to offer. Be grateful often them for what you have and you will receive more to be grateful for and then you have instead of making excuses and telling yourself why you can't do it or why it's not possible ask yourself what if it is possible okay and then you can't force yourself no you can't force your dreams to come true dreams can only be blown into the wind like feathers after which we need to learn to trust to be patient and to wait with our hearts open every day is a possibility for change Okay, so don't lose hope, okay? I do feel like this marriage or whatever this is can be fixed, okay? And I do feel like whatever it is that you guys are trying to grow is going to be something that brings you a lot of abundance in the future, okay? So take care, guys. If this resonates, please like and subscribe if you guys like to. And toodles.